Hi there everybody. This is the September 2nd Duelist Daily Challenge. So I'm going to go through it real quick and explain to you how you come about completing it. Alright. So real quick I'll just run through it for you to learn. Use this. Every time you cast a spell, you'll deal 1 damage to the enemy general, and then give yourself range. Very important. Okay, now we want to clear everything off the board, using this 1 damage to all enemy minions. Alright, now it's pretty clear now. So we want to go ahead and break this so we can move the Envy Buyer. Envy Bear. That way, we can reactivate And then summon our heart seeker to do another one damage just by being used. Okay. So we want to break this. So we can bring our Haman over here. Do that damage. Now, this is the, the tricky part. I'm not maybe I'm doing this wrong and it was designed poorly enough that there's actually a, an alternate solution based on chance. But you notice that when he attacks, it teleports an enemy to a random, unoccupied corner. So, I did the damage with Haman. So I hit it and hope that it goes into the, one of the right corners. Perfect. Alright. So now we... We don't even need to attack directly, but we could deal the 3 damage. And bring Haman over here. And take her out. Boom. Okay, cool. So I want to do that as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm going to run through it one more time, slowly. So we can really go through it and analyze like what the developers might have been thinking and what we should be thinking when we approach handling a daily challenge like this one. Alright. So, the board is full. We know that. Right away, I look at everything on the board. Who, do, who am I? Reva. What's my Bloodborne spell? Okay, I know that. Uh, now we look at the enemy, how much health do they have? They have 25 HP, that's the most important thing, because we need to clear them out, right? Complete, that's the only way to win. Alright, so I look who else I have. We have a range 2 damage. We have, um, the Envy Bear. 3 damage and teleports enemy to a random unoccupied corner. We have 3 Haman Blade Seekers. Crazy. Amazing. 8, 8. So that's 8 damage. And then in our hand, we see we could do one damage to all enemy minions, which would get rid of all of these uh, gravity wells, which have provoke, which prevents our Haman bla uh, blade seekers to actually attack anyway. But before we do that, we want to look at everything else just in case. We got a cyclone mask, gain ranged attacks for your general, perfect. We got phoenix fire, deal three damage to anything on the opposing team. Oh, actually, no, no, to anything on the board. We could reactivate an exhausted friendly minion with three or less attacks, so either the Widowmaker or Envy Bear. Mm -hmm. And then Blood Rage Mask, whenever you cast a spell, deal one damage. So I know right off the bat, right as soon as I look at everything, this is first. Because any all four of these will do four damage, and that's what we need. We need to get all the damage that we can. Next. General gains ranged it has nothing to do with anything else on the board at this moment, as opposed to something like like these three spells. They have something, but that adding that artifact is completely unrelated to anything, no matter what the circumstances are. Um, yeah. So regardless of what they are, that's what I would do first before I even start planning out how I would accomplish this. Right. So I notice that we have a friendly minion reactivate with inner focus. So I want to make sure that I can. I uh, use my arcane heart, which seems to be the least uh, valuable uh, action you can take. The only way to summon that is by clearing these around me or by moving the Widowmaker. I believe that that's the easiest thing to do, clearing the Widowmaker. Boom. So we move the Envy Bear over, reactivate the Widowmaker, and move it here. Right in front of us. Excuse the lag, if there is any. It's uh, the gravity wells are awesome. They're beautiful. Alright, so now we get rid of everything on the board. More or less. All the gravity wells. Nice. Much cleaner, easier to look at. Phoenix Fire, I'm not sure what I need to do with that yet, so I have to save it. Generally, you could. it would be a safe bet to just hit the general with it, but you never know, depending on the circumstance. So, 
All right. So this is the hard part. If we attacked her now, we would not be able to finish the game, finish this challenge, because the other Haman Bladeseeker would not be able to attack. So we need to clear that spot for the Bladeseeker. By default, I would use my own general to get that out of, way, out of the way, just for whatever reason. Nothing else would affect it. See, like, if the Widowmaker had to attack something next to it or whatever, then it would die. Well, it could die, so the safest bet is to attack with the general. In that case, that's what I would think, right? So we bring the Mon over here, make sure we get that 8 damage off. Now we hit the general and move him. I don't know why it's this way, maybe I'm wrong, see? And now the Fey Bloodwing is in the wrong area. So let's say she moved here for time's sake. I would move the Blade Seeker, attack here directly, and then throw a ranged attack and the Phoenix Fire out. And then we would complete it. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow explaining how to do the next one. Thank you.